Hiya everyone, today I'm going to be doing a matching makeup look. I'm wearing peach and I'm going to be doing a peach smoky daytime wearable type look. Really hope you enjoy. We'll do some lovely dips later. I promise I've got to sort my boxes out because they're all in a mess. I've already got some BB foundation on. I love it and I'm running out and I need to get some more. But I hope it's all alright because I haven't been on here for ages. I've got me eye primer here. I'm just using this Stila pot. It's honey. I think it's Stila. Yeah. And I'm going to just stick this on my eyelid. It's a nice colour. And I think we don't need a lot of this stuff. I hope these are keeping alright. It really does feel like a long time since I've been on. Which is, which is weird. Do you know I haven't worn makeup since I lost weight? Like I'd done a video or something and then that was it. I don't wear makeup at all. And I feel it's so weird. I haven't played with my face since I've been like slimmer. Isn't that odd? So that's going to be fun today. Right, we've got our base on. Now for some pigment. This is, ha it has to be the pigment I use for a melon. It's melon for a peach makeup look. Do you know what? I get so nervous coming back on here. It's so weird. So no laughing. It's just so odd. And, I, and honestly, I haven't worn makeup in so long, I forgot what to do. <laughs> and do you ever get that, where you just forget where to put stuff? And you're like, you've got such a mind block on which colours will go well with what. That's why I'm just matching it today. I'm going to match with my top and then I kind of go wrong. I can't go overkill though. It's got to be complimentary. But this melon pigment, oh man, it's just so gorgeous. Look at that. Very nice. Probably end up dropping it all over the floor. Luckily there's no carpet in here. Because there was at the last place and the amount of marks on it. Oh. All makeup related. Going in with some black. This is body shop. Just black. Matte black. Really nice. Little touch on the edge of your brush. Tap off. I don't want it down my face. And oh dear. Let's see. You can put it there. Put it on the edge, look, so there's a lot on there, so I'll tap it off again. I really don't want that much. It's a smoky daytime look. So I'm going to just rock that back and forwards, just in the crease. And I'm going to bring it down towards the eyelid. I've got so much to tell you. I always do when I've been away. I've been really enjoying just getting fit and healthy. And... Oh, I went shopping for some new stuff because nothing fits me anymore. It's getting a bit bad. My jeans are right down my bum. So I got some jeans in a top, size 12 top shop. Went to a vintage store with old Horrocks' frocks and stuff like that. And the 12s didn't fit. I couldn't even get them past me hulky shoulders. And I, honestly, I wanted to cry because I really wanted the dress. It was so old fashioned and vintage and I felt really like a princess in it. I couldn't get the zip up the side so I'm going to have to bit, lose a bit more to get into an, an old fashioned woman size 12 because the changes, the, the sizes, I've heard that all the high street do that is because they want you to buy more. So if you're a 16 you probably, sorry if you were a 12 back then you're probably a 16 now. That's the size and it's all changed weird but anyway there we go I'm going to blend that out now with a fluffy brush for the upper lash line I'm going to use the black again but with an angled liner and I'm going to try and hope it works because it's dry I want like a line but not a thick dark line because it's a daytime look so we've got to keep it nice and simple so steady your finger and off we'll go and this is just a dry black eyeshadow But you know what, I just want that top lash line thickened out because sometimes when your lashes are sparse, they just, and you can see the eyeshadow through them too much, it doesn't look very nice. So it's nice to have a bit of a, a line going on and it just really gives the appearance that your lash line's thicker. Once you've got your eyeballs did, we're going to go underneath and I'm using hard candy. It's just, it's called soy, it's an eyeliner and I'm just going to put it on this end. 
right into the corner. I like to go under the actual lash line as well as the water line. I told you before, if it comes off your water line, you've still got on your lash line. And they usually come off your water line. There's very, very, very few out there that'll stay where they tell them that they're gonna they're gonna stay. They just don't stay. I would usually use a pencil brush for this bit, but I'm actually going to use the eyeliner brush. It's angled, it's thin, and I don't want that line big. So I'm gonna just bring this along, gently pulling the colour through. Putting that liner on has made us feel sleepy. I honestly feel sleepy after that. To be honest, I've got my eyes closing. Anyhow, I've got some mascara. I'm using my Falsies Volume Express. I do love this one. It's a flared one. And I'm really in love with the brush. Look at it. Look at that. It's curly. Curled. It's a nice little arch to it so you can get right in there and lift them up. Mm -mm. It's a bit too lifted, don't you think? My eyeball looks frightening now with them too lifted like that. Here we go. go. Share the love to the corner lashes. Da da! There we are. Right, with it being a peach look, I've gone for this. It's style. It's by MAC. And it's really, really pretty peach. It's got a little bit of gold in it, but it's not right. Like really goldy goldy but it'll complement the eye colour we've got and I've got little bits and pieces on my hand look so just dab it off you don't want any you don't want too much and then we're just gonna start just gently picking that under there. I'm not using the big brush today because I don't want it to go all over the place and I want it in a nice contained area. So we're just using the contour just so I can get it right in that little try if you imagine your face 3D you want it in the, the outer triangle. Got this lip liner, Boldly Bay by MAC, and it's going to go with the peach lip gloss I'm going to use. So we're just going to have to line these and do it in fours. One section, and two, and so on until you've filled your lips. I like to fill it, put the lip liner all over it, and then put your stuff on. This is the lip gloss we're using. It has just got a number and it's SO1. It's a bourgeois brand and it's UNE Beauty. And it's really nice lip glosses. I come back to it all the time because it's one of them things that will go with anything and it doesn't let you down. And I love products like that. Right, all done. I really hope you enjoyed my peach smoky daytime makeup. I, I'm calling this a daytime. It's actually quite a heavy look. So I can imagine you might not be as confident to wear it during the day unless you're like me and I don't care. But I haven't worn makeup in such a long time that I'm feeling like this is too much. And compared to my old days on here where I used to wear wacky stuff, it is nothing. But it feels like I'm like, <gasps> it's a full face, it's weird. Because I'm so not used to it. I'm used to seeing no eyes, I'm just so plain. I just look like a plain Jane at the moment because I've never bothered putting any makeup on. Maybe the touch of mascara, but that is it. So I feel transformed. I have not seen makeup properly on my face since I lost weight. Is that not weird or what? Anyway, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned because I am back with more and I've got my lucky dips coming up because I need to rearrange these boxes and get on with it because I know you're asking for it and I see your comments and I don't want to let you down. So I shall be back and I'll see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.